Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here. In this video, we will compare and contrast a modern G.I. Joe figure with its vintage equivalent. This time we are looking at Duke. We've already done this once with Duke with version 26 from 2008, the 25th anniversary figure. For that figure, I thought his colors were a little off, especially that shirt, which was a little too light. This time we are looking at version 23, which was included with battle pack number one, the five figure set released in 2007. Version one of Duke was released as a mail away exclusive in 1983 and was later released at retail in 1984. This 2007 figure is trying to replicate the look and style of the original vintage figure, but with modern sculpting and articulation. This version 23 figure was later released as a carded figure. The carded figure had a backpack and did not include the binoculars. This figure could not have a backpack because modern figures at that time did not have back holes. The 2007 version 23 figure was mostly copied for the 2008 version 26 figure, but with different colors. And obviously version 26 can have a backpack because he comes with the jetpack. Version 26 had a couple different accessories and even the accessories that they have in common have been recolored. Version 23 much more closely replicates the colors of version 1. I prefer the upper half of version 23. However, I prefer the darker trousers on version 26. The darker green doesn't exactly match the vintage figure, but I just think it looks better. Modern Duke has a green helmet. I think it looks pretty good it is removable and we can see Duke's famous blonde hair and I think that's a pretty good head sculpt for Duke. Duke includes a pair of black binoculars. They are tiny and as far as I can tell they don't clip or peg onto the figure anywhere. I guess he's just supposed to hold them but I really need these to peg on the figure in some way because they are so small uh, they're very likely to get lost. The vintage figure had a pair of binoculars about five times the size of these and they had a strap so they could be slung around his neck. Duke's weapon was an M16 with a grenade launcher in black plastic. Uh, this appears to be a modern version of the weapon that originally came with Leatherneck, but I like this for Duke. It's good. Uh, it does, however, have a hard time fitting in his hand, and it keeps it keeps falling out. I'm having a hard time getting him to hold the thing. This has no similarity to the submachine gun that came with version 1. That's just a totally new look, but I think it's fine. I like it better than the laser rifle that came with version 26. Of course, I will prefer real firearms over laser rifles any time. He has a holster on his right leg and he has a removable black pistol. And this is nice. It can fit in his hand, although sometimes has a hard time holding that too. Uh, but it's nice to have a removable pistol on the vintage figure. He did have a pistol on that right side, but it was just sculpted on and not removable. Duke has that famous green bandolier. That's a separate piece with a painted, looks like a gunmetal grenade. I think that looks really good. It's a little loose, but that's okay. It's worth it to have this as a separate piece. That bandolier was uh, a distinctive feature on the version one figure, but of course on that figure it was sculpted and painted on, it was not a separate piece. You can remove that bandolier, but without it, the figure looks kind of plain. Really, I just leave the bandolier on. This is part of Duke's uniform, and it's a part of his distinctive look. The modern figure included a modern figure stand with code name Duke printed on the front. The vintage figure did not include a figure stand, so nothing to compare there. Looking at the details of the modern figure, Duke has blonde hair, and of course, so did version 1. Version 1 had a, an expressive, smiling face. This modern version does not, so I prefer that. That's good. That's an improvement. Uh, we still have that khaki shirt with some gold jump wings, uh, and we have the American flag as a tampo on the right arm. The mail-away version of Duke in 1983 included a sticker with the U.S. flag, so I think that is a nice touch and a nice callback to the original. The modern figure has a few other elements we associate with Duke. He has the rolled-up sleeves, he has green trousers, he has the pistol holster on the right leg, 
and he has brown boots, all of which is very nicely detailed. He does have different colored knee pads, uh, slightly different color than the rest of his trousers. That is not reflected on the vintage figure, but it's a nice uh, added detail. Version 23 of Duke is a faithful modern interpretation of the first Duke figure, and I like it. As for which figure is better, it depends on what you prefer. The modern figure has more articulation, but it's articulation that works well for posing the figure on a stand. Whereas, in my opinion, the articulation on the vintage figure is better for play. The modern figure has really nice accessories. The removable bandolier, I think, is an excellent touch. Uh, the removable pistol is an improvement on the original, which only had a molded-on pistol. But he does have those tiny binoculars, so small that they will very easily be lost. I think the accessories on the vintage figure were pretty strong for its era and stack up well against the modern figure. And those binoculars are much larger and you can sling them around Duke's neck. So which do you prefer, the vintage or the modern figures? Don't forget to leave a comment below and say which one you like the best and why. I'm a vintage guy, so I will usually go with the vintage figure. In my view, the vintage figures were toys that were played with and enjoyed by children and are artifacts of our childhood history, whereas the modern figures are made to look very good, but they are primarily collectibles for adults. That was my vintage versus modern Duke comparison. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you tune in next week. I've got a new vintage G.I. Joe toy review coming. I will see you then, and until then, remember only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.